Hello everyone, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 5th Edition Edition. Last time, we left the Hag's residence, found some unsettling images of a slightly undead husband, walked through the swamp for some treasure, and then came back down here to see if we couldn't find the other victims of the Hag's spells. Having seen the man who was once petrified leave, we can come around and see who else here has words to share with us now that they've been freed from the horrors of the past. Also, this door does not exist here anymore, which may well mean that the one that's downstairs that goes to the Underdark might be open as well. Let's see what Lauren has to say. Is the hat gone? Tell me she's gone. Oh, please. She has gone. May she burn in the nine hells. The hag. There's never been a more vile creature. The things she did to me. Why are you here? I was a fool. I wanted to know my fate. I had a choice between two lives and I was frightened of choosing wrong. I asked the hag to help me see what the future would hold. Got what I wished for, too. I saw my future self. A corpse, rotten with maggots. And everyone around me dead. Putrid and dead. And why were you choosing between one life and another? I'm sure both have not gone well for you but since you've been trapped here. A boring story. Stay or go. Marriage and kids, or a life of novelty. I lost my best years rather than just choose. Well, go and leave while you still can. Yes. I will. Thank you. All right. That person has now left as well. There was somebody who'd lost their head out here somewhere. There you are. This person is just in stasis. Well, it doesn't seem that we can help this person, unfortunately. As for this skull in the mirror. My sweet Callum. Whose beloved asked that his beauty never fade. As you edge closer to the mirror, a pale face appears, contorted in fear. Fists slam against the mirror's surface again and again. All right, let's see if breaking this mirror does anything terrible. Astarian, you got your bow there? Not going to let me attack like that. With a blade, then. Uh, why have we been banged? Is that one of our magic items? Or am I going mad? Is it just because we had broke a mirror? Uh, this isn't Bane. This isn't Bane. Neither is that or these. Something strange going on. And that bane is going to remain until we are fully rested, which is a problem because Gale is also nauseated until his next long rest, so... No, this doesn't seem to be going well. All right, well then... I think we've exhausted the peculiarities of what's down here. Oh, that is foul. This poor dear wished never to lay eyes on her family again. All right, let's get out of here and get a long rest in us, I think. We've seen all that there is to see. This is where we had combat previously. Let's just have a quick peep at the door. 
Okay, Starion. Come take a walk over here so that we can clip the camera around the corner. No, that door's still there. Which is annoying because I've got no other idea how we're currently getting to the Underdark and that appears to not be it. Alright, I'll get everyone back out to the surface and you guys can join me there. And here we are, back at the front of the Hag's home. We, I think we've explored what else there is left to explore in this swamp. The red caps died, obviously, a while ago. The well is still here, and I think if we wanted to be very min maxy about the whole thing, we could visit again. Salts your nostrils. Dead flesh lies below. A great deal of it. The warm rush of power flows through you. You feel stronger, faster, better. So that didn't heal us. And we still remain with the refreshed condition. And so I don't know, every time we take a long rest, if we come back here and take the walk all the way over the map to here just to get the 10 extra hit points before going on our next adventuring day. It could be something we consider if we really do get stuck later. Uh, up this way was somewhere around here, up on the left. Yes, this is where we found the hunter, the monster hunter. And then out in the rest of the swamp, there's something going on down in that direction. Some kind of maybe a druidic thing or an elemental wood elf thing. I'm not really sure. But for right now, let's take ourselves back on down to camp because we're here at an ancient rune circle, which allows us to do so. And we will go to camp and end the day. Now that we're here, uh, Will wishes to have a conversation with us, so let's do that real quick. What's up, good sir? I was watching you at the Grove Gate. You spilled enough goblin blood to fill the Chionthar. Where'd you learn moves like that? Uh, Druid, nature itself imbues me with its power. It really blossomed out there. Took the battle by storm. It looked like a breeze. The Blade's not often keen on sharing his glory. But if he has to, better it be with a champ like you. And how did you become the Blade of Frontiers? It was a time I didn't amount to much. But then, uh, a higher purpose called to me. Killed a few goblins, freed a few captives, and I was hooked. The only life I want is a hero's. Now, let's get some rest. I do my best goblin killing at sunup. Very good. Okay, well, I'm going to take a minute. I will stow what food and spare equipment we have. Make sure that we have our evening's meal prepared for everybody so that we can take our long rest because we require food and water to do so. And then we'll see if we get any kind of encounter over the course of the long rest. So I'll save you the admin and let you join me for the fun parts. Okay, I did a whole bunch of dull inventory management, but now we can settle down for dinner. And so for dinner, we're going to have a barrel of water, a couple of sausage baguettes served with cabbage, garlic, pumpkin and pear salad. And we have a spare potato that I didn't account for, so... I think between everybody that will do just nicely. So Andrew can eat all of this because the gained health is irrelevant as soon as we hit the long rest button. As for the water, we will just throw that down there and make sure we attack it. Um, excuse me. I would like to destroy this barrel, please. Where did my cantrip go? Uh, 
Uh, really, can I not destroy a barrel with what I have in hand? How much HP can a barrel have? I feel like some kind of bug might have occurred. Gale, why don't you, uh, sh Astari, why don't you have a punt? Sh please shoot this barrel. Alright, well, I assure you, the this barrel is considered destroyed. We'll long rest and see if it's still here in the morning. Andrew, if you would please. You seem to have a book stuck in your bow. Uh, we are back in the putrid bog. Let's just fast travel back to camp. Right. Um, why are three of my party nauseated? We just long rested. This shouldn't be a thing that's happening. Also, why is this barrel of water immune to all sense of... We're just going to put that over there. And pretend that that barrel doesn't exist. Let's go back to the putrid bog. Uh... I guess it's the Riverside Tea House. Yes. And maybe it's because we came directly back here that we're nauseated. Because we just long rested. So, psychic and acid damage are going to suck, apparently. Uh, but since we long rested here, uh, first of all, do we want to change any spells? Because we've long rested, and that is something we are allowed to do on a long rest for our prepared casters. I still like having magic missiles. This is always prepared because it's on a magic item. We should make sure we use mage armor before we forget. Uh, don't need grease. Don't need featherfall. Invisibility, we have potions of if we really need it. Is there anything we're just never casting? No, this is a good selection. Alright, over on Shadowheart. We always have those prepared. Guiding Bolt, Healing Word, Inflict Wounds are our core damage dealers. Prayer of Healing is like a fake short rest, which I really like having available. Bless, I do cast on occasion... Oh, there's so much choice. No, I'm going to keep that as is. Over here. We're going to lose Flaming Sphere. I think Moonbeam deals with all our concentration requirements pretty well. And instead... Alright, let's be boring and take Jump. Because I've had some issues with places where I've wanted to be and not being able to reach them. Uh, Thunder Wave we use, that we use, Healing Word we use, Misty Step is always prepared. We have so many healing potions right now, I think we can sacrifice Good Berry for a while. Also, it's just occurred to me that we're not learning or not preparing the full amount of spells we have available to us because we leveled up, but it didn't tell us to prepare more spells when we did so. So that's something that we should really have been factoring in this whole time. So, Gale, prepare one more spell. Featherfall, just in case. Shadowheart, prepare another spell. This is when we put their ca main casting stats from 16 to 18. Their modifiers went up, so the number of spells they could prepare went up, but it didn't do that on the level up screen, I presume. Um, one more. Uh, 
Touch a creature to neutralize all poisons affecting it. To grant it advantage. All right. We'll take protect from poison because poison has so nearly killed us several times on this adventure. And here we have three spells to pick. Let's take some spike growth. Let's take... We lost Goodberry, but we mustn't overload ourselves on second level spells is the trick. Let's try a heat metal and something from our first level. Fairy fire, sure. Astarian doesn't prepare his casting. So where were we? Uh, since we are here, I am going to drink from this well once more before we start our adventuring day. If this is what makes us nauseated, then maybe that's my problem. Drink from the well, please. A cloying oh. rot jams in your throat. All you can taste is bile. Uh, and we now have this sickened condition. Overpowering, indescribable sickness. Vulnerable to most types of damage. Well... I don't know why we got arrested condition last time and now this, but... We just long rested. Hey, Shadowheart. Can you remove this condition on Andrew? I know we just long rested, but... No? That doesn't even work? Now I'm mad. Okay, well... Apparently this isn't a thing that you can just cheese forever. Maybe that's how they made sure you didn't come back and visit that well between every adventure. And now we know. So, what are we doing today? I mean, we've already been here for 17 and a half minutes. So let's just try and get out of this bog without stepping through loads of extra traps and horrible things. Fortunately, Andrew gets to wild shape, and has the most HP out of the party. But I will be grateful to never have to come back to this bog ever again. Still an embering red cap over there. So there's some kind of encounter over here. Twisting vines, this large tree. So I think what we'll do is we'll cross over this river as safely as we can, particularly with Astarian. And next time we'll see what's going on on the other side of this bit of water. And if the fight goes terribly wrong, we can just go and long rest again. We'll start burning through our water very quickly if we start doing this, but as we are, we're not in the best shape, even though we literally just rested. So let's hop on over here. We've seen these trunks before, haven't we? Yeah, just trash in those. Let's uh, hop on over once more. Let's get everyone sneaking. Gale, you need to make the jump, please. Unless Andrew is just in the way. And sneak as well. Thank you. Astarian doesn't have disadvantage on his attacks or anything, so if we need to start sneak attacking, we should be able to do so. Step up to here, and a quick hop over this water. That's what I was trying to avoid, but okay. And we have Woodwodes, Mud Mephits, uh, Ha 
is at this point I regret getting rid of Flaming Sphere because that might be useful here. But we'll find out next time on Baldur's Gate 3, 5th edition edition. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider liking this video or subscribing. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments down below. I will endeavour to answer each and every one of them. Otherwise, thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.